What's going on everybody? Dots Gaming here. Happy New Year and today I'm bringing you guys a channel update like a little 2019 review and 2020 preview. I do make one of these every year and I wanted to make this one on the new year first start of the you know first day of the of 2020 new decade and I'm very excited a lot of good stuff planned for this year. But I kind of want to go over, you know, all the good stuff that happened last year, kind of give us a little bit of a review because last year was a huge year for the channel. I kind of want to go over what's going on right now because I know the channel is kind of in a bit of like a weird state right now. So I kind of want to address that and, and tell you guys in a video because I don't think I have yet what exactly is happening. And then I want to kind of, you know, give you guys a picture of, of what I have roughly planned out for 2020 because the 2020 plan right now is just that. It's a rough plan because there's a lot of balls in the air right now and kind of where those land is going to determine my plan for this year and honestly beyond. So let's start though with 2019. First off, I have to, of course, Thank you guys for supporting me through another year of Dots Gaming. Last year, I'd say, was probably the biggest year for the channel so far, and for two major reasons. Number one was I officially went part-time. That was a huge, huge deal for me. For those of you who don't know, uh, I always have done Dots Gaming prior to last year as only a hobby. I would go to work five times a week and do all the Dots Gaming stuff after work when I got home. It's a lot of very hectic for me, very crammed work schedule. I had my lifetime managed to a T and it got crazy at times, but we were able to work hard enough that I was able to take Dots Gaming to a part time job. So I was able to lower my other full time job to a part time. So now I basically have two part time jobs. Uh, and and my my mental health has been so much better. Work life balance has been so much better. And it's just it's a dream come true to be able to do this for a job. And I can't thank you guys enough for getting me to the point that I could afford to even do this part time. So so from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you guys. And the other big thing was that for the first time, I got to I got to visit a game studio, dude. That was crazy. Uh, Zenimax invited me out to preview elsewhere at the beginning of last year, which was just absolutely insane. I got to meet so many awesome creators. I got to meet the devs, and it was just one of the best experiences of my entire life, and it's something I will I will cherish forever. Uh, besides those two big things, we also overhauled the website. That was a pretty big deal last year. You guys remember uh, early part of the year, I took the website down for a day, and we went from the old light theme to the new theme we have now, and... I'm really, really happy with how the website's turned out and how it's grown. It has grown exponentially since 2018, and it makes me so happy to see all the hard work that I've put into the website really, really pay off, and I just absolutely love the new appearance of the website. And of course, I have to give a shout out to the web team who helps me write the build to the website. It's thanks to you guys that I'm able to have as much content on the website as I do. So huge shout out to them. Thank you guys for helping me make our website a really, really awesome place that a ton of people visit. Uh, besides that, we also met all of the numerical goals I set for myself on YouTube and Twitch, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and we also kind of overhauled a lot of things and increased uh, professionalism in a lot of different areas. I, I kind of overhauled my Patreon tiers as well as my YouTube membership tiers. Uh, we, you know, got a bunch of new emotes and improved those. We, I bought a bunch of new hardware for the channel. I got some new graphics made. I got better lighting. I just did a lot of of improvements in the channel this year invested a bit of money into the channel this year and to see it all pay off and see it all work and, and and do well has made me very very happy and i'm very pleased with the way that my channel looks right now i even have some new graphics and the work's being made i'm trying to uh and my graphic designer is a little backed up with work right now from other clients but when he gets to me i have a bunch of other things planned so i am very very excited so 2019 great year for the channel but I do want to get to the elephant in the room that a lot of people have been asking me about, especially recently, and a lot of people wondering about and kind of what, what's going on right now. Because I know I haven't posted an ESO video in probably a month, haven't streamed it in probably about a month or two. It's been a little bit, maybe like a month, month and a half. Uh, so right now, I am trying to, as you can clearly see, add a second game, which is being Apex Legends, to my channel, and I'm taking a break from the Elder Scrolls Online now, I do want to thank those of you, I want to, before I even get into this, I want to thank those of you who are watching my Apex videos, because you guys are going to be the pillar of the channel's future, and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me, supporting those videos, and, and watching them and giving them a chance. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, but those of you who aren't watching, I, I get it, I understand, if it's not your cup of tea, you're not going to click on it, no hard feelings, I, I, do, I do get it, but I am taking a break from ESO right now. And the reason I'm taking a break can basically just be summed up with one word, and that's the game's performance. I mean, I know that was two words, but performance. Um, 
it it just burnt me out. I reached my breaking point on I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be you know completely honest, and I started to notice in myself when I would stream the game that I'd be incredibly negative. I'd be salty and I'd act ways that I don't normally act. Um, I would wake up on the days that I had to make videos and kind of be like, ugh, you know, and I don't want to feel that way because for me, right, when I do this streaming YouTube and make the videos, fun is the most important thing for me with this, right? If I'm not having fun with it, if I'm not loving it, if I'm not enjoying it, what's the point? And so, so for me, that that is that is paramount, and I want to just say that there's n I love ESO. There's nothing against this game, nothing against the devs, nothing. None of any of what I'm saying is is said with bad intent. It's one of my favorite all time games, and has allowed me to live my dreams of doing content creation. It allowed me to take that first step, but I have reached a point where the P with the PvP performance that I'm just frankly no longer having fun. Um, I feel like I spend most of my time fighting the game, not other players, begging for basic game functionality, trying to just have basic ability functioning, hoping that I don't get bugs, and I just kind of reached a breaking point with it. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be honest, and it, it just you know, I was getting, I, I was burnt, I'm burnt out, I'm, I'm burnt out with it. Um, so I've identified that, and so I'm trying to kind of branch out into other things and try to build up another side of my channel and, and work on that. You know, just with the current state of the game and, and the current state of views on YouTube for ESO, it's like the perfect time to do it. You know, I know a lot of people are taking a break. I know um, many people just aren't interested in the ESO videos right now just because of the state of the game. And so, like I said, this is just the perfect time for me to work on building something new. And I know a bunch of people have commented about how the views on my Apex videos are obviously very low compared to my ESO videos. And for those of you who don't know, that's very, very normal. That's not, I'm not like exclusive or special with that. It's not like, you know, it's a unique situation to me. A lot, very, very often, more often than not, when a YouTube channel makes a video on a certain game and then completely pivots and starts making videos on to something totally different, People lose about 90% of their viewership on their videos and it takes because, you know, your subscription base is used to a different game and you're trying to you know put something totally new in there and the YouTube algorithm doesn't know what to do with that video because it's made on a game that your channel doesn't make. So it doesn't know who to share it to or who to promote it to or who to suggest it to, which is where most of your traffic comes from. And so it just kind of goes into the void and you basically have to do and stay consistent with making those different types of videos for literal months before the YouTube algorithm picks up on it and starts to actually suggest those videos to people, which like I said, is where the majority of your traffic comes from. So I'm just kinda in this little transitional phase right now. But I will say one good thing that's really happened with Apex is that I have hit diamond rank in two months. And for those of you who don't play Apex and don't know what that means, the ranks in Apex go Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Apex, Predator. And we're in Diamond, which is the top 2% of the ranked player base. And I was trying to push to Pred in January. I've been working my butt off. I've been trying very, very hard to, to learn and get as good at this game as I can to give you guys good content. Um, I, I practice so much off stream. I do aim training. I haven't played a shooter in eight years. So for me, this was like a huge, like, okay, I'm coming back to a genre I haven't touched in a very long time. And the fact that the hard work's paying off makes me makes me very happy. So now you're probably wondering with all with everything that I just said, right? What's the plan for 2020? What's going on with ESO? What's going on with Apex? Like what what am I planning to do? So right now, the plan and the ball of kind of what happens with this channel is in the court of the performance changes, if I'm gonna be honest about it, guys. The way that these performance changes shake out over the next six months is going to determine probably my long-term future. Uh you know, so in terms of my goals for this year and what I would like to do, I want to reach Apex Predator and Apex to give the channel a little bit more legitimacy in the eyes of that community. Um, I want to continue to build that side of the channel and build up all my socials. And for ESO, with the quarter one DLC, I do plan to to start playing again. I will be updating my builds on my website. I'll be updating the builds on YouTube. I'll also be making some solo RP PVE builds on the website. I've had a high demand for those videos, or excuse me, for those guides. So I will be putting those up on the website and I also will be doing an initial patch notes review like I do every patch. Um, now, 
like I said, the balls in the court of the performance changes. If the performance changes are good and if they do what they're supposed to do and what they're projected to do, I'm not even saying they have to fix the problems. If they just alleviate some of the issues, I will start streaming ESO more again and um, start making videos again. And if they if that doesn't happen, if the performance changes do nothing, like, you know, Dragonhold made my, made my game run worse. So if the quarter one DLC does that, I'll probably take another break if I'm going to be honest. I'll probably just wait until Skyrim. And for me, Skyrim is kind of like the proverbial line in the sand, so to speak. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the chapter that I do with the Q1 DLC. Uh, I'm going to make my build updates. Probably going to update the complete beginner guide. All that jazz I just mentioned. Patch notes, everything. And if the performance changes come and make improvements, I'll continue to play and start playing regularly. Or start playing regularly again, depending on how quarter one goes. And if I don't, I'm just going to have to have a serious conversation with myself about what I'm going to be doing with ESO. Um, and like I said, during this whole time, I will be building up Apex so that if I do eventually decide to lean on that side of my channel and kind of take it more in that direction, um, I'll be able to. You know, I'll still probably keep the written content on my website, but it just might be a pause for, you know, a while on YouTube and Twitch. We just, we just have to see. You know, it really kind of depends how things shake out over the next uh, six months with their performance changes. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, guys. Just kind of wanted to let you know those are what I, my plans are. That's what uh, you know happened last year, and that's what's going on right now. Um, my goal is to see if we can crack 100K on YouTube. I think we can do it this year. And then my goal is to crack 30K on Twitch for subs and followers. Um, I never thought I'd be in the position I'm in now. You know, You guys have blessed me with the opportunity to do what I love. And I can't imagine what we're going to be by the end of next year. It's going to be it's going to be a big year, and I'm very, very excited for it. And and like I said, I don't want you guys to think that I have any ill will towards ESO. I don't want you guys to think I have any uh, bad feelings towards the devs, towards the game. I absolutely love this game, and it has been one of my favorite MMOs that I've ever played. But as somebody who's been primarily PvPing for quite a long time now, I just I reached a point with the performance where it was beginning to stress me more than I was beginning to have fun or more than I was having fun. And I have to listen to that. You know, I have to listen to those feelings and, and, and it's not like this is a decision that like I had one bad day and woke up and, and made that choice. It was, it, it, it's been months. It was months in the making from basically like the first couple of days of scale breaker until first, you know, first couple of weeks of dragon hold. Um, but I, I really do hope that the Q1 DLC in the chapter bring the improvements that are projected. I, I really do hope. Um, but if they don't, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll have to see where, where the wind takes us. But I'm excited. There's a lot of possibilities, man. Especially, you know, if we can kind of get something going with the Apex side of the channel. There's a lot of potential there. A lot of potential and I'm going to be working really, really hard, man. I'm going to be working really hard because I would like to, you know, share Dots Gaming, share the community with the people, you know, with people just beyond ESO, you know. And I'm excited to see what happens. I'm really, really excited. So hopefully you guys stick with me through that. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a great 2020. Leave uh, any of your thoughts in the comments below. If you sat through this whole update and you're not subscribed, you should probably do that. <laughs> and if you guys like the channel update, smack a like on it. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all very soon.